Hey guys, it's Liesl, and today I'm coming out to you with a pretty informal video. I decided to film this like five minutes ago, so we are trying out HelloFresh and with Chris being gluten-free, he's tried HelloFresh before, he's tried all the other ones, and he's always struggled to find um, gluten-free options because they're not catered to be gluten-free. And the ones that are catered to be gluten-free are like, like $100 a week. And so it's never been worth it. You can grocery shop for much cheaper than $100 a week. I'm making one of the meals today and I figured why not bring you guys along on this journey of me trying to figure out a recipe I've never done before. Today we're gonna be making the baked sweet and tangy uh, chicken legs with roasted potatoes and broccoli. So this should be fun and it has all the instructions on the back But we're just gonna try it today this this meal and then three other meals um, It would have cost $60 and We had a discount code from one of the apps that we use we spent like 20 or $30. Sorry I'm not even in the shot. I don't even know what's going on. Um, we spent like 20 or $30 on um, HelloFresh delivery for this week and um, it usually would have been like 60 bucks. So not sure if it's worth it because I can do all of our grocery shopping at Walmart, including our entire week's meals and like any like toiletries that we need or like things around the house that we need for about 40. But basically I'm already skeptical about this because it's $60 a week and you get four servings per meal. But, you know, like, what they consider to be a serving and, like, what's actually a serving. I don't know. We'll figure this out together as we go. Uh, but here we go. <laughs> basically have to cook everything from scratch. Nothing is like pre-done for you. Like you get this package of chicken that is just a package of chicken. It's not like seasoned or anything. And then you get all of your seasonings in packets that you have to like add, which granted they're like pre-mixed seasonings, so that's easier. But like for example with the chicken, you have to like put it on a tray, put salt and pepper and paprika on both sides, and then you have to bake it to cut all the potatoes up into like um, wedges, and then you have to put all the seasonings on them, you have to put olive oil on it, you have to make this glaze from scratch pretty much. I would have thought that this glaze would have come pre-made in like a little squeezy tube and you just like heat it up or something but you basically are making it from scratch which kind of sucks um you have to steam the broccoli like everything it's it's kind of intense and if i was not a baker or a cook i probably would have been freaked out by this so this is my first reaction not that impressed um if they're wanting to make it easy for you everything should be done already like they should have cut out that middleman and not made you guys do that because I feel like that's ridiculous. And where like the whole thing was 60 bucks, it's basically saying that each meal is 20. And for 20 bucks, I mean, I could get an entire bag of frozen chicken with like tons more broccoli than this and a giant bag of potatoes and an entire bag of lemons, like all this stuff for 20 bucks. And here we are with this like scraps of stuff that is definitely not worth 20 bucks. So the first step is to bake the chicken. Of course, it's inspected for wholesomeness by the US Department of Agriculture and it is chicken legs raised without antibiotics. And um, it comes with a little seasoning packet of paprika. Another thing that I don't like about um, HelloFresh 
is that like some of the things you they don't provide like salt and pepper butter olive oil those little things that you don't really think about like i feel like it should just come with that stuff especially for the amount of money you're paying they bake theirs on a sheet but this is not that much chicken and i'm not gonna dirty an entire cooking sheet for that so i'm just gonna do like a little square they don't grease their pan at all which worries me because pretty sure the chicken's just gonna stick we're gonna get out our salt and pepper i'm gonna spray this pan so that the chicken doesn't stick um, and we're gonna preheat our oven to 450 and then it says to pat the chicken dry with paper towels so we're gonna open up our chicken this is like We are going to cut it! Okay, can we just look at this real quick? This is the chicken that it came with. Even from here you guys can see the obvious size difference. This one's like tiny, and then this honker. I was thinking that this was supposed to be like cut up into four because that's how big it is. So, not impressed with that. Soak up all the excess moisture and such. <sighs> Boy. What an adventure we're on, y'all. It says to put the chicken skin side up. Okay, so we're gonna put the chicken in there. And they don't tell you that you have to disinfect your counter afterwards, but you should. I'm just piling all of my trash inside the HelloFresh box that everything came with. So, here we have our disproportionate chicken. Season all over with salt, pepper, and paprika. It doesn't say whether to do top and bottom, um, but we're gonna oh, oh, okay. But see, that seems like a lot of paprika for one side. So we're gonna do both sides. I don't know, y'all. This is seems like a ton of paprika. <laughs> gonna do salt, and like I said, this is not sticking that well. We're gonna... Dark Vader pepper is almost gone. Okay, so totally forgot to preheat my oven, so I'm gonna do that now and we're gonna start prepping the potatoes. Let's see, so we bake the chicken for 28 to 32 minutes and then while the chicken is baking you roast the potatoes and basically it says cut the potatoes into half inch wedges Toss on a second baking sheet <laughs> and then drizzle with olive oil, salt, pepper, and fry seasoning. These I will actually put on a baking sheet so that they can spread out enough to cook. Um, and then I'm going to put my silicone mat. Got it for Christmas like two years ago and I've used it like crazy. We are going to spray the pan first so that there's oil on the bottom of the potatoes. And then it says to drizzle the top of the potatoes with olive oil and then put the seasonings on. These potatoes seem questionable. I am so bitter, it's fine. I, you guys are probably way nicer than I am about this stuff. I'm just, I'm a skeptic. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. It doesn't give you much instruction. It just says cut it into wedges. So. Are definitely thinner than others, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna take my olive oil. This seems like so like messy. I would so much rather do this in a bowl and then put them on the sheet, but whatever. We're experimenting. Yay, experimenting. I'm going to spread them out, make sure it's all just a single layer. And I'm gonna go wash my hands because that's gross. Our next one is the fry seasoning. We're gonna put this on first. I wanna make sure that this sticks the most and then we'll add a ton of salt and some pepper. And this is really hard to open. Cool. So, we're just gonna sprinkle this. I'm just gonna add some pepper to these for flavoring. Okay, so we are done with our potatoes and our chicken. To make it easier, I'm just gonna make the glaze without filming it because 
that's always really difficult to film on the stove, so I'm just gonna pop these in the oven, make the glaze, and I'll be back to glaze the chicken once it's done, and I will be back. I figured I would just hop on while I'm doing this. I just want to complain. Zesting lemons and limes is so much more work than it's worth. Anybody else with me on that? We have drained the excess water out of our broccoli. It is very beautiful. I always love the look of fresh broccoli. It's very vibrant. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of butter and salt and pepper. Okay. And then it says to add, it says to add the lemon zest. I actually added the lemon zest to the glaze, mostly by accident. <laughs> and I'm just gonna squeeze the lemon on here. That's just half of the lemon. And then it says to add the chili flakes. And here is our patatas. You can probably hear them doing their thing. And they're very fancy. They're Yukon yellow potatoes is what they are. And now they're cooling down. Our chicken is almost done. Our broccoli is done. I just shut the lid so the butter can kind of melt. Um, I put all of the, <laughs> the chili pepper flakes in there because I thought I was supposed to, but turns out it was supposed to be to taste. So that's gonna be interesting. We have our glaze and then we have our potatoes. Okay, so here is all of it together. And I'm gonna glaze the chicken. It says to use about half of it now. And then the other half when you're serving the chicken, our tiny little, chicken thigh, sad little excuse of a chicken thigh. Okay, so there we have it, we are done. Is HelloFresh worth it? And I've gotta say no. Sadly, I know, it sucks. It is fun, it's fun to have it delivered to your door on a range of skill level. You do kind of have to know a little bit of what you're doing because you could burn your house down if you're not, <laughs> if you're not that skilled in cooking. The food looks yummy, it smells yummy, it tastes yummy. Um, as far as being a good option for being gluten-free, I wouldn't say that it's really that worth it because a lot of the meals that they had for us to choose from weren't gluten-free. They had lots of pastas, they had lots of like crispy chickens kind of thing and they didn't have like a gluten-free alternative for those meals it was just like you either get it or you don't so that kind of sucked so we had to pick in my opinion the more boring meals like just chicken with vegetables rather than like the fun adventurous ones because they were all like they all had weed in them i definitely could have bought this entire meal for way less than what they did it for so i all around I would give HelloFresh maybe like, a, we'll give it a 5 out of 10 um, because the ingredients are fresh, they are good quality, um, but as far as the price and the labor that goes into it, I would not recommend it. But thanks for watching. I know this wasn't like the happiest of videos, but I wanted to be honest. I wanted to give an honest review. Anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry I'm kind of a negative Nancy, but um, have a great day and tune in next time. Bye!